Welcome to the Joy Age Kingdom. In today's video, we will be doing a paid, brutally honest review video on Lucky NF Tigers. Uh, this I don't have any allocation or mint, don't worry, I only get paid to review projects. So what we do on this channel, we do reviews, we do podcasts, we do interviews with founders, we do reaction videos, we do all the things. NFT market updates, oh, so much fun. I hope you guys have been enjoying the consistent uploads. Um, we're trying to bring you guys a plethora of different NFT content, trying to bring you guys the best of the best. As you guys know, the goal of this channel is to instill the knowledge and confidence it's going to take to navigate this metaverse on your own one day. So if that sounds good to you, smash like in this video. You already know the, the channel is always sponsored by the like button. You smash the like button, you have a good day. It's as simple as that. Subscribe to the kingdom, join the Joy Age kingdom. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So this is the Lucky NF Tigers Twitter page. Um, they've got 329 tweets. They joined back in January of 2022, so I imagine just a few weeks ago. I would love to see a lot more brand work here and not as much shilly content, as much giveaway stuff. All I really see here is whitelist competitions, whitelist giveaways, how to get on whitelist. I would love to see way more than this, especially um, because this project is more centered around the utility aspect of being able to participate in some massive giveaways. So I would love to see you guys do a little bit more branching off in order to save yourself because if something doesn't quite go right with the utility the brand work is what's going to save your ass here here is the lucky nf tigers website very cool website I like this um, they've got a whitelist get whitelist opportunity here um, they have 10,000 unique lucky nft tigers roaming the ethereum blockchain it's cool art i like it it'll do definitely um, for their team uh, that consists of business mining blue collar australians that know the struggles of working an unrewarding job we're defining we are the definition of for the people by the people and our mission is simple to enrich the community so we have jordan chief tiger bucket hat enthusiast co-founder tech and business development we've been wise tiger can see his lucky end of tigers on the moon through his monocle he's also a co-founder business development we have jay baby tiger not actually that keen on cigars co-founder social media and marketing we have nick crouching tiger rumor has it his mullet is in Insured co-founder business development and marketing and then looks like this is not his name but crypto enthusiast blockchain and full stack developer as far as their roadmap we don't want our community waiting and waiting around for metaverse games long way to promises i'm actually kind of glad that they mentioned this it means that they're in the know that they know what's going on in the NFT space they know that everyone is promising a game indie level game probably metaverse go into the metaverse it's all shit dude nobody knows what that even means we're very 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 far away from that happening so i'm glad that they're just kind of saying how it is uh, we're personally invested in many different projects we realize the most exciting way are these giveaways so their aim is to become the largest giveaway project in the entire nft space the juicy details so uh i, I can assume this is only if they do a full sellout of the mint but they have monthly giveaways with three hundred thousand dollars worth of prizes in ethereum weekly giveaways with twenty five thousand worth of prizes in eth purchasing og tiger one uh the first drop at least and tells you to the first three months free entry to the monthly $300,000 giveaways and lifetime entry into the weekly $25,000 giveaways. After three months, there will be new NFT monthly releases to keep the party and giveaways going. There are five ultra rare crowns in the collection. If you hold a tiger wearing one of these at the snot shot of the reveal, you will receive a prize at the value of $5,000. Now again, I'm not sure where the hell all this money is coming from. I'm going to assume it's going to come a lot from just the treasury that comes from the mint. So this is going to be very dependent on how much demand there is, especially here where they say there's going to be new monthly nft releases this is only if people buy them that they'll be able to use these funds i assume unless they have a treasury that they've already kind of thrown money into um that's i'm not sure where else the money would come from um they also said you tell us we want the community to have their say in all these prizes what prizes should be included board of yacht club dead fellows cyber kongs mutant apes i like that they're going to involve the community in on this um they're the project you know the vision is very simple they just want to fucking give people money give people fun stuff if they can do it that's dope here we have a roadmap. So at 50%, they're going to have the first $300,000 giveaway announced, the first $25,000 charity donation, and the first $25,000 weekly giveaway announced. At 75%, they're going to have their second $300,000 giveaway announced, and at 100%, they will have their third $300,000 giveaway announced. Uh, regular $25,000 donation continues, $25,000 weekly giveaways continue, and secondary sale royalties we put into a community wallet. Our community will then decide what we invest in with all these royalties. Now that I read this, I wonder if their goal to be able to raise all this money is buying the dip, as in, in, like in the sense of like buying a mutant ape during the dip and then selling it during a pump and then using that profit to maybe give fund these giveaways and stuff like that. I'm gonna assume that that's where, gonna, where they're gonna get this money. Other than that, I, I guess it just comes from the mint. 
Yeah, and then so this next. This channel sponsored by Weibo, a crypto and stocks trading platform that makes everything easy, Who's super looking? user friendly. And if you sign up in the description below, you actually are gonna earn three oh, free, free stocks, stocks just by signing with my link. I appreciate all of you guys. And back to the video. So in their FAQ, they have we are aiming to launch in February 2022. They're gonna keep up to the date with their Discord mainly. So make sure in their Discord if you want to know about what's going on with their project. And it looks like they're gonna be uploading a video on how to mint as the day gets closer. How much will each lucky NF tiger cost? They will approximately cost $450 for the whitelist pre-sale and $500 for the public sale. And they said just because we don't know what Ethereum is going to be worth at the time of that, because Ethereum is doing a whole lot of this shit and this stuff, and then it'll it'll pump and then it'll just go back down. So they just you know gave the US dollar amount there. And it seems to be if you're whitelist, you'll be able to mint up to four pre-sale and public sale, be able to mint a maximum of 10 tigers each. And will I own the intellectual property rights of the NF tigers? By purchasing a lucky NF tiger on the primary second nail, you will own all intellectual property rights to your NFT. Here's the white paper. If you are someone who invests in NFT projects and your project that you're interested in has a white paper, highly, highly recommend financial advice that is financial advice. Read the white paper. Do the research. White papers typically aren't that long, um, especially for a project that's new. They just don't have enough information to make it that long. So just spend five minutes and fucking research it. But I'm going to go through it here for you. We have from the founders. Welcome to the Lucky NF Tigers community. It's an exciting time to be alive in the NFT space, and we're sound to see where we go. And again, they're just talking about how they want to be the most elite giveaway community. Very cool idea. Uh, not something you really see in the space. And the four founders, we have Ben, Jordan, Nick, and Jai. As I said earlier, I'm not sure why the two others weren't on the website. Um, Maybe they're just more of like part-time employees or something. Or maybe they're the people who are like supplying some of the money that's going to go into these giveaways. So in overview of the project, they're looking to be the most elite of the elite giveaways. Um, they're trying to just, they said they're not going to be a play to earn game. You don't need to stake or anything. You simply just hold it in your wallet. And at the time of the snapshot, they'll kind of decide who's going to be in and who's not going to be out. And then at the time of the snapshot, you'll be able to reap the rewards of being potentially a winner of a lot of this money. So for the first three months, a value of $1.2 million will be given across those three different giveaways. Um, they're going to be holding another mint that only Lucky NF Tigers will be able to have access to at a much lower price than the original mint. And this will be continuing into further notice and the below ongoing money values are dependent on sold out secondary drops. So they said, give me the numbers, which is an interesting way to put it. Um, they said all giveaways are capped at one in 10,000 as there's only 10,000 NFTs in the project. So your chances of winning are actually much higher than a lottery, which is actually interesting. When he says it like that, I was like, damn, that's, that's facts right there. Um, so that's that very interesting to put there. I kind of like the way they worded that. And again, they mentioned the kind of the prices of how much all the giveaways will be worth. They talked about the crowns and you'll be given a $5,000 reward if you hold one of those. I like that they're going to do a $25,000 monthly charity giveaway. Uh, I hope they post like proof of that. I know a lot of people say they do that and then they don't. So hopefully, you know, they, they post proof and maybe, maybe even they make content about it. Maybe they go and do like a giveaway in Australia and film the whole thing and be like, yo, you NFT tires are the reason that we are able to do this. That would be a dope piece of content. So it seems are going to be looking into the community to help kind of decide what we want to do as far as the the project what direction we want to take it what kind of giveaways they want to do they're going to be asking the DAO or some kind of some kind of voting system they don't only want to do giveaways they want to become a, a project that gives back and does some charities and stuff they always, they just want to give back it seems like they want to reward people for certain traits in the collection that will be revealed at a later date they want to have parties in different cities with your lucky NF tigers acting as your ticket lucky NFT merchandise you know basically all, all the things that come with being in a, in a specific brand you know so let's check out the team they got nick here with eight tweets we've got jager with nine tweets we've got ben with 200 tweets and we have jordan with 16 tweets so uh, <laughs> they need to do much 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 more brand work much more brand work personal branding is, is zero here um this is not good because if something doesn't go right if perhaps they don't sell out and they can't end up giving away all the money, then they're going to want some personal branding, whether that's a podcast, whether that's just them connecting with people on Twitter and engaging with the community on Twitter, whatever that is, if you don't have, and you haven't already established that connection with your supporters, the second any kind of flood happens, it's over. So I would like to see a lot more work from all four of these founders um, as far as their personal brand, at least, you know, more work on, on resharing and like hyping up. Like, I mean, this just isn't enough. This is not enough. I think people discount the what the entertainment value is what the the connection and networking side of nfts are it's it's the most important it's the glue that holds your project together when things are falling off the sides here's your discord page everything looks very organized everything looks very good 
I'm a big fan of their, of their Discord. A lot, of, a lot of times, you know, projects will kind of half-ass their Discord and just not put in any effort and it looks like trash. So I'm glad newer projects are starting to catch on and, and just do a better job. So that's good. Um, that's good. Here is their Instagram page, 1,000 followers. Um, NFTs aren't huge on Instagram, but I'm glad that they're diversifying, you know, their content and posting stuff, just getting awareness out. This is good. I like to see this from new projects. Hey guys, that's about going to wrap up this review. If you enjoyed yourself, if you learned something, smash a like in this video. The channel is always sponsored by the like button. You smash that like button. You have a good day. As I said, subscribe to the channel, join the kingdom. If you haven't already signed up for that Weeble link in the description, you get three free stocks. If you sign up down below with my link and it helps me out directly, I appreciate it. I don't do any paid promos. Um, so these reviews and using, using my link and stuff is how you can best support me. I really appreciate you guys doing that. If you want to see more of me right now, click one of these boxes on the other side of me. And until next time, continue on your joyage, continue to learn and be grateful you're alive watching this video.